Hello, in this video we are going to look at this coding bat problem um, from arrays 1 called plus 2. So let's dive in. Given two int arrays, each length 2, turn a new array, length 4, containing all their elements. So a couple of things that we really want to kind of highlight here. This, this question states that the length of the array is 2. Since it states the length of the array, we, can, we don't have to do the checking for out of bounds and things like that. Um, this is an important line because it simplifies the problem quite a bit. And then we want to turn a new, a new array length for. So let's look at our examples. If my first array is 1, 2, and my second array is 3, 4, we return 1, 2, 3, 4. If my first array is 4, 4, and my second array is 2, 2, I return 4, 4, 2, 2. First array is 9, 2, and my second array is 3, 4, I return 9, 2, 3, 4. Pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new array called C, and I'm going to make it length 4. And then all I have to do is I just have to say C at 0 is equal to A at 0, C at 1 is equal to A at 1, C at 2 is equal to A at B at 0, and C at 3 is equal to B at 1 and then return the array. And that's it. Now, this is a pretty straightforward one. Once you understand the kind of setup and how things work, let's kind of just take this opportunity to look at a different way to, to initialize an array. So we use this notation to create an array if we, know, if we don't know what's going to be in there right away. Remember, an array, you always have to state the size before you use it. The size is fixed. Um, but if I know the data that's going to be in there, I can actually go and put it directly into the array using this notation. So I'm going to put a at 0, a at 1, a at 2, sorry, b at 0, b at 1. So this is a nice kind of shorthand notation that will do the same thing. And it's quite useful if you know in advance what is going to be in the array. Um, just be aware that you can have some, sometimes students want to do this, or not students, sometimes anyone wants to do this. And if I just kind of directly create the array like this, I get an error. You have to be a little cautious with this. There's a couple of some, some odd notation you have to use to do that. So I recommend that you always create your array and then return it. Don't ever try and return your array in the return statement. Um, we have to, you know, there's a couple little finicky things we have to deal with if that's the situation. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.